It's ourselves. I'm Damien Carras. And I'm the devil. Now kindly undo these straps. If you're the devil, why not make the straps disappear? Do you believe in curses? In the supernatural, the eerie, the downright unnerving? We pull back the crimson curtain of Hollywood's glitz and glamour. We find ourselves tiptoeing into a world of chilling tales and unsolved mysteries. A realm where curses are not merely the stuff of silver screen fantasy, but an eerie reality. Here at the Curious Culture Club, we revel in the unexplained, the enigmatic, the downright spooky, to the shadowy corners of Hollywood's glittering facade where curses are more than just whispers in the wind. Picture this, a club, exclusive, elusive, and eerily fatal, where membership requires nothing but talent and an untimely demise at the age of 27. Welcome to the infamous 27 Club, a chilling roster of musicians, actors, and artists who all share a startling commonality, their age at death. Among the ranks are legends like the psychedelic virtuoso Jimi Hendrix, the powerhouse vocalist Janis Joplin, and the grunge revolutionary Kurt Cobain. This isn't your average who's who of the entertainment world, it's a list that echoes with hum of coincidence, a symphony of talent extinguished in its prime. Each member of this club was not just gifted, but a trailblazer, a game changer, a star, a star that burned too brightly and too briefly. Yet they all met the same untimely end. At the tender age of 27, there are no applications, no invitations, and certainly no celebrations. Just a chilling alignment of and circumstance. Is it merely a morbid coincidence or an ominous pattern woven into the fabric of the entertainment industry? A mere coincidence or a sinister pattern? You decide. Imagine walking onto a movie set, only to feel the chill of unseen eyes watching your every move. Hollywood isn't always as glamorous as it seems. Behind the camera, the lights, and the action, there exist tales that can make even the bravest hearts quiver. Today we're delving into the eerie world of haunted film sets, featuring real stories from movies like The Amityville Horror, Ghostly Whispers, Unexplained Accidents, Strange Happenings. These aren't plot points from a horror script, but actual experiences reported by cast and crew. Imagine the shock of hearing your name whispered from an empty corner of a movie set, or the dread of feeling an unseen presence on the set of the Amityville Horror. Crew members have down on sets, props, moving of their own accord and chilling drafts sweeping across the studios, even in the peak of summer. From strange shadows flitting across the corner of your eye to inexplicable cold spots in a heated room, these sets seem to be brimming with otherworldly activity. Actors, directors, and crew members often speak of an uncanny feeling of being watched, an eerie sense of unease that lingers long after the director yells, CUT! Could these be figments of the imagination amplified by the stress and strain associated with the cutthroat world of cinema? Or could it be something more? Could the set of the Amityville Horror be haunted by the spirits of yesteryear, unhappy with the intrusion into their space? Or perhaps these are the playful antics of ghostly pranksters enjoying their time in the limelight. Are these sets haunted by unhappy spirits, or is it all just a play of shadows and nerves? And as the whispers of these tales fade away, stay tuned for more spooky stories in the world of Hollywood as we transition to the next chapter. How would you feel if a film you watched carried a curse, not just in its plot, but in its very existence? Welcome to, to the spooky domain of cursed Hollywood films, where fiction often seems to bleed into reality. Some films are so entwined with mystery and calamity that they become infamous for reasons that delve far beyond their cinematic worth. Take, for instance, Poltergeist. A film that delved into, into the supernatural and seemingly lured it into the real world. Following its premiere, several actors met untimely and tragic ends, leading many to believe the film was indeed cursed. Then there's The Omen, a film that has been marred by a series of unfortunate events that some attribute to a curse. The plane that was initially chartered by the film crew crashed, tragically killing on board. The lead actor Gregory Peck had a brush with death when lightning struck his plane. What's more, the film's scriptwriter wasn't spared and found himself involved in a car accident. These incidents led many to believe that the film was cursed. And who, who could forget The Exorcist? A film so horrifying it induced fainting and vomiting in theaters. The set was reportedly haunted, and the film was associated with several deaths and injuries. Are these films genuinely cursed? Or are these calamities just a spin of the wheel of fate? Perhaps the truth remains hidden in the shadows, overshadowed by the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. However, one thing is certain, these stories of cursed films sustain our fascination, 
adding an extra layer of mystery to the wonder of in the end, Hollywood remains a land of dreams and nightmares, where fact often blurs with fiction. We've traversed the eerie 27 Club, tiptoed through haunted sets, and delved into the cursed films of Tinseltown. Each tale more chilling than the last leaves us questioning the line between superstition and reality. These mysteries, these whispers of the uncanny, keep the allure of Hollywood alive, don't they? Do you believe these curses to be real? Please let us know in the comment section. Until next time, keep exploring with the Curious Culture Club.